Hey, Eli here. Today I want to show you how to make a custom function in Mac OS for Lightroom. Uh, this shortcuts saved me hours, um, if not days. Uh, I've been using it for several years and I had to recreate this function because I had to reset my Lightroom for another issue. And so I want to show you uh, the issues I came up against and how I recreated it and why I used this function. Uh, just off the bat, I use it because it, Command S will just sync the photos without a prompt. Uh, if you hit Command Shift S, you're going to see it's going to show you, I'll show you here. It's going to show you some check boxes and you're going to have to select and decide, you know, obviously you want to do this while you're editing, you know, before you press command S, but uh, from working with a, a large amount of photos, this allows me to work more seamlessly and quicker. So I would select these uh, functions here. I take off healing crop transform and masking for the most part. Sometimes I'll leave masking on if I know that the photos are all cropped the same and uh, making like a GIF or something. So synchronize. So what I did is I made it so if I just pr press uh, Command S, it doesn't prompt. I'll just show you. If I change these settings, Command S, it'll change all of the photos below. Yep, take a little time. <laughs> so we we'll see all these previews down at the bottom of the thumbnails will change. So reset that, change them again. So this will work a lot quicker for me. Um, if versus having to press Command C, Command V every time to copy and paste the settings. I will do that as well, but if I'm working for working a bunch, working through a bunch of photos and I know that they're all gonna be in the same spots, similar lighting, it'll allow me to seamlessly just kind of sync them all as I go. So for example, another example for these ones here, you know, I'm editing Command S, I edit that one and then I go through and I select. Um, so that's something that's helped me a ton and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Basically, what I did before was I went into the um, settings under keyboard. If you hit keyboard shortcuts, and here we'll go down to app shortcuts. And I've already got one created. This is the prompt that I put in, sync settings and command S. I'll show you how I created it. If I press plus, go to a lot of apps. And for some reason, it's not in the main ones. Put in Lightroom. And we go to, hello, classic. And we go menu title, sync settings, and we press command S. And then I would press done. I've already recreated this, so I don't want to create it again. Cancel. So the problem I was having is I had to recreate this, and it was um, basically saving the metadata every time. So I Talked to Adobe for like two hours, they couldn't figure it out. Mac OS, they couldn't figure it out. Got really frustrated and I was just going through forums and I found the Lightroom Queen. So Lightroom Queen has a shortcut app that allows you to change the shortcuts within the app. So I installed it for the trial for 30 days to see if it worked. It worked, so I bought it for $10. Basically, you go up to, after you've installed it, you can go through their settings to install uh, and you know the security features and all that to enable it. And then if you go to edit shortcuts, I didn't see a place to change command s to sync settings so i just went in typed in sync well i typed in metadata or save i went to save metadata and i edited save metadata it used to be command s i changed it to a setting that i will never press <laughs> so never going to use it i'll save metadata when i'm done editing just as a backup when i put it on an external hard drive and archive it in a closet uh, but that's the lot, you know, that's when I'm going to do that. So I made it that. So now I could override, didn't have to override through Mac OS Lightroom. Uh, it would just defaultly go to the prompt that I set. So now when I press Command S, it syncs the photos. Uh, I've done a couple other shortcuts where I've changed L to the same similar, you know, prompt because I press K all day for the brush feature and I'll tap L and then you'll get the different, uh, the views in loop. So so yeah, so that's how I did it. Um, I think it's super helpful. Try it out. Um, you know, I I do it all day long, like I said. Um, I'm just going through, like, so here's a, just a big sequence of dancing. And I, even for this one, I just went through. First, I'll press Command-C so I get my prompts ready. I'll select the masks and then copy it and then Command-S and it's gonna just lay it across the whole board, which is right there. I'm gonna make a GIF out of it. So super helpful. Another example, these ones right here, these were all shot with the same camera. I color code all my cameras so I know. And this one here, I'm editing and develop. And I just press Command S and it's gonna sync the photos. Um, you know, the, the settings didn't change in those photos. Even if they did, it's still gonna get me to a point where I'm really close. 
And um, yeah, so hopefully it's helpful. I try not to rely on this too much. And um, yeah, just a little bit about keyboards <laughs> as well. I just wanna jump into this really fast. For some reason, Apple, they make this keyboard here. Like I have a lot of keyboards right now. So I've got one, two, three, four keyboards. It's my backup keyboard for when my mom sits on her computer and I need to fix it. Um, this computer, this keyboard I bought it because it was the newest one, but, um, and then these keyboards I've purchased, I'll go and buy a couple on eBay now and again, uh, because I'll rub the nubs off after two years on the J and the F right there. And so I have these keyboards because they match the laptop, which it drives me nuts that Apple's making these new keyboards, but they don't match the laptop keys. So these arrows here are different. And so my muscle memory, I know what keys are what, uh, right here in here. So if they change the size, it just throws me off. So, um, so yeah, little rant about that. But, and then I also use the loop deck a lot for little things, but I try not to rely on the loop deck too much because uh, there's a lot of times I'm in the house editing on the table, I'm traveling. And if I'm fully relying on the loop deck, then, you know, I've got a problem, but I do use the loop deck quite a bit and I'll make a video on the loop deck and how I use it as well. So, um, I use the Loop Deck Live because the CT had caused some issues in the original M1 Max. It just kept crashing with my computer. So I sent it back, and then I was like, well, I'll try it again. The Loop Deck Live was cheaper, so I was like, well, I'll buy that one. Why not? Uh, and it, it's worked great. I've had, like, hardly any issues. Uh, and that could just be uh, software updates. Probably, I'm assuming it's software updates. So, cool. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you use this and it's helpful, just give me a like. Let me know. Give me a comment. Uh, yeah, it'd be good to know. So I'm sure you could take this further, add a bunch of shortcuts. Um, in the past, they used a better touch tool for the touch bar, but you know that had a lot of bugs. Didn't really work too well for me. This app here, this plugin uh, from the Lightroom Queen uh, is pretty sweet. So I'll put the link in the description. Go check it out. Uh, it's worth the 10 bucks, easy. So, all right, cool. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully it's helpful.